What is going on, everybody? We're going to go ahead and get started. I am sculpting this face mask here. Let me look at a different picture. So I'm going to be sculpting this face mask. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So to start, I'm going to go into the scene menu. It's a little loud. And uh, I'm going to delete that sphere. And we're going to add a head mesh. Okay. I am going to duplicate this. Let's clone it. Let's scale this up. And now I'm going to mask this off. So let's use our mask tool if I can find it. All of these uh, all of these icons changed so they look a little bit strange to me. Got to get used to them again. Here we go. Mask tool. Welcome in everybody. Good to see you all. Welcome in guys. Hello Eva. Good to see you. Okay, so let's go ahead and mask off this uh, area. We wanted to come over the top of the head a little bit. We're looking at the how far over this goes. So we're going to make this come over a little. Over the side of the head, we probably want it to come over quite a bit. Let's take a look at this. We want it to go over near the ear and right down the back of the jaw, I think. Welcome in, guys. So good to see you all. Yeah, right down the back of the jaw right over the top of the head right lined up with the ear but not quite over it maybe so we will come over this way yeah maybe something like that and then back of the mask kind of comes up this way and then up here. Maybe let's go ahead and unmask. Maybe we can unmask right over here. So we're gonna unmask this way. That might be good. Just join his page, he does awesome work. What's going on, Robbie? Appreciate you. Really, really appreciate that. It's kind words. I think that's going to be good. Now, as far as wrapping around the chin, I don't know if I quite wanted to wrap around the chin like that. We do need this to mask, though, right here. Oh, it is masked. Okay. Yeah, we might, uh, we might actually unmask down here. Watch this right here we'll save that um, we need to go in our masking tool now I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to I am going to extract a shell of this so we can start to get our actual mask and start to work on that so it looks a little bit uh, better hey Mary so good to see you how are you so what we're going to do, let's go into the mask settings, pay close attention, go into the mask settings, and I am going to, okay, all of this changed. Yeah, all of this changed. So we're going to go, that's so cool. It's active. That is awesome. We're going to make it roughly this thick. And Oh wait, we can go negative. Let's go a negative number. So let's look this way right here. So if we go negative, we want it to be Let's make it that thick. We don't want it to be very thick. 0.26 that's gonna be good 
Now let's go ahead and our extract, we're gonna make sure we have shell selected. And let's go ahead and extract a shell. Okay, so we are going to make invisible this one here. And then this is going to be our extraction. This is our face mask. I'm going to take the eyes, let's delete those. And this is what we're going to work off of. Let's go ahead and make the head visible. I'm going to use the drag tool. Where are we? Drag. All right, let's make that chin first. So let's pull this out into a sharp point. So I'm going to drag. Let's drag this out over here. We want two sharp points. So we're going to drag these there. Duke and Cameron, hello. Uh, Laced up rugs. What's going on, man? Good to see you. Good to see you all. Welcome in over here. We're going to drag these out this way. See how we kind of have that there? <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I am going to voxel remesh at a higher resolution to try to clean this up a bit. Let's go ahead and smooth this out. We are very voxely. Let's smooth this out a bit. the eyes let's cut out the eye holes so I am going to take the trim tool we're gonna make these uh, this shape here so let's use a lasso function let's not auto let's do polygon actually let's not auto validate so right near the top of the nose bridge right here basically we want that to be closed we want this to be sharp this way. We're looking at the sharp line. We want it to be over here. And probably narrow, or probably round a little bit right here, it looks like. I don't know. Maybe we'll go sharp. I think that's gonna be good. We'll go sharp to start. Keep it pretty narrow. All right, let's validate that. We trimmed it, that's gonna be good. Let's shrink the face behind this so we can actually see it as a face mask. I'm going to use a clay tool. We're gonna to build up some material around the eye right here, very sharp. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna clay it right here. We're gonna take crease and click the invert button right here. And we're gonna bring that to a point. Let's turn down the intensity. We're gonna bring that to a point right here. It looks right. Let's get these horns going in here. So I'm gonna take the tube tool with the path option. do a path. Let's look at the front and we're going to take the path. Let's just run it right here, mirror it to the other side. And I am going to use B spline to get these nice smooth curves. We're going to run this straight back over the top. We want this to be a little thicker. We're going to turn on we're gonna turn on a profile. And let's kind of make, here we go, kind of like a triangle. Triangle, but let's make it rounded. So let's change that profile. Let's make this peak. Um, where are 
heavy. Yeah, let's twist this. There we go. And let's make that peak at the top. Let's make that rounded. That's better. I think I want to trim off a little bit of the top of the mask. happens uh, maybe that sits that high yeah maybe it sits that high all right so let's run this right here we're gonna make this a little thicker at the base and towards the end of it we're going to kind of sharpen that into a point. We're going to bring this over this way and kind of up over the mask. We're going to blend everything in. These are going to be pretty big, like right there. We want these to be over the eye, right in the middle. Right there is basically fine, actually. And we need these to sharpen up quite a bit at the end. All right, we need that to peak quite a bit more. pieces from using the cutting tool oh, appreciate it squirrel thank you so much man um, do you know why after downloading a file off of nomad and importing it into the blender to 3d I don't know why Duke I would have to know exactly what's going on so I'm not too sure why exactly that would be happening Uh, there could be many things, a corrupted file, bad geometry, um, maybe your file isn't uh, a manifold object, so it has like a lot of missing polygons. It could be, it could be many things. We're going to thicken this up at the end. And let's change our profile. Let's make this more... Can I move this whole... Oh, good. Wow. All right. That is awesome. Okay, so we're not going to go that much. Let's go ahead and turn this down a little bit. Maybe like there though. to go have you have a nice night too sorry I wasn't able to help you okay let's go ahead and do this right here
Okay, let's copy this. Let's clone it, move it over. I'm going to scale down this spline. And let's move this right in here. That's gonna be good. These need to move over a little. We're looking at how much space is in between these and it's quite a bit, probably somewhere right around there, which means this needs to get moved over just a tad. Hey Robin, good evening, good to see you. So we're gonna move this this way, which I think is a proper call. these into the mask let's go ahead and take this mirror and validate it first because something happened we're gonna validate let's see if we can voxel merge this no, the whole thing is breaking so we need to solo, there we go, that's why. Let's go ahead and inflate from the inside and we need to turn on the front facing vertex only so that we can actually inflate this. That way it doesn't break. Okay, that should be good. Let's voxel remesh. Let's smooth this out to fix. That's good. Let's smooth this out to fix in here. And we're gonna inflate again. Voxel remesh, last time. Let's smooth it and now the whole inside is fixed. Welcome in guys, good to see you. All right, let's turn solo off. And now we can take these and we're going to merge them together. We can voxel remesh them and let's smooth. take my symmetry I wasn't on we need to mirror it right to left or yeah mirror there we go
Um, let's go ahead and get some of the eyes going on here. We're going to work on the face a bit. Okay, so we need like a destroyed nose. So I'm going to take the clay tool and I am going to subtract. And we're going to eat away right here. Basically. And we're going to do that right up to the, basically right up to the eye line. That's what we want. Let's voxel remesh, because this is going to start ripping probably, which it did. Let's get rid of this for a moment. Let's go ahead and hide this. It's messing us up. We need to do something. Let's hide the face. Let's go in here and let's inflate this. We need a lot more material here. Probably up here into the eyebrow ridge too. Okay, we should be good now. Let's take our clay tool and now we can eat this away. a bit. Let's drag this back. And clay. Just kind of desecrate this. So here's the cheekbone. Right here. I need to do something. So we need to add some material. Like right here. Into the eye. And this basically drags out right here. So this drags out this way. We're going to voxel remesh this. Let's smooth it out a bit. I want to crease right in here. see if that's kind of yeah it's still all one mask so it's just heavily shadowed which is fine let's crease and bring this to a point good and then this is basically all right here this needs to be smoothed together everything in here. And flattened out. So let's use a flatten tool. Right here. Let's just flatten this all. drag to bring this out this way and bring this in this way that'll be good let's crease around the nose right here and then smooth this Let's 
to start. All right, we're gonna need to get teeth in there real, real soon. drag it back. We dragged it way out. Let's drag it back in. We're going to start adding some teeth. So let's find our teeth line first, I think. I think that's how we should do it. Um, the name of the app is called Nomad Sculpt. Yes. All right, so teeth right here, roughly. Bottom teeth, right here. Okay, jaw is gonna go back here. I think it needs to be lower. So bottom jawline needs to be lower. So there's more space in between. then it can kind of get closer and closer up here. I think it's going to be something like that. Okay, let me move this in. Let me just kind of push this in. This is going to be where the teeth are going to go on top of. Let me x-ray this to see where is the mouth. We pretty much got the mouth in the right spot. That x-ray feature is very nice. All right, so let's get the teeth in there. I'm gonna use the tube tool. They're very narrow teeth, so we got these two main things that come on the outside of the nose and the outside of the nose should be just inside of the eye range so let's take the outside of this nose that should come just in the eye range right here and then these teeth these should These two main things need to be coming up right on the outside edge of the nose. So right here, basically. Let's mirror this. And we're gonna sharpen these into actual things. Let's go ahead and bring that into this. Baseline everything. To a yeah, pretty pretty sharp point. Let's make this just a little more narrow right there. Just kind of looking and they need to be straighter so as far as orientation goes they should be something more like
All right, so now we have one, two, three, four teeth in between there. So let's make sure we have size correct. So there's one, two. Okay, so size is not correct. So let's scale these up a little. Make them touch in the middle. The thickness of these are probably that is fair. They come up a little bit. That's gonna be fair. These should come over here. They're about the same size. And then these should be right here. But these need to be just on the outside edge of the nose. So everything needs to scale up a little. That's gonna be good. I do have a YouTube tutorials on how to use the app Town Paul or Tal Paul. Yes, I do. Go ahead and check out the link in my bio. It'll bring you right there. Welcome everybody. Welcome. All right. So for this, I'm going to. Oops. Oops. Let's go ahead and take the clay tool. So there's like roots that kind of come up. I'm just going to kind of do that real quick. Uh, yeah, they all do it a little bit. It's fine. Now the bottom teeth. Those are going to be a little bit different. I've got the same amount they kind of all line up but these two bottom ones kind of overlap over here so let's take the main things let's move them down and rotate them these wrap around over here and they kind of angle out this way Something like that is accurate. I'm going to clone these over. And these are gonna be inset a little bit more, I think. We can uh, take the drag tool on the face. We can kind of set this in. Okay, this should also only be four. So I think really I need to move this over some. And everything just kind of gets angled out. Pretty tiny right here. These are tiny. 
these are longer these should basically be touching and these should be touching so we're gonna make these touch let's bring this down and let's bring this up just for sake of 3d printing this is how we're gonna do this that's gonna touch these are gonna touch again mostly for sake of 3d printing so we're gonna bring this in here and make it touch I want to bring this That's how we're gonna do it. Even though these won't touch, I'm gonna bring them in. There we go. These fangs. Let's make these bend out this way. That just looks better. Yeah, that's good. That's a bit more of a match. We can close the gap here a little. The rest of the teeth, I'm just going to go ahead and fill these in how I see fit. I'm not going to spend too much time on this. So let's use the gizmo tool with the clone function. We're just going to move these over and push these in. Let's move this out. I just joined, uh, may I ask, how do you make the tooth curled shape? Did you use it with clay tool? No, I didn't, um, Lucky Duke. So what I'm doing with all of these teeth, over here on the side, you'll see the tube tool. The tube tool is super useful for a ton of things. So how I use it, I take a path option in order to get my tube tool out, tube right here, and then uh, path. Let's go ahead and lay out a tube tool and you'll see this spline happening right here. Click this green dot to get it to show up and then you can see that like I have all these points that I can manipulate around and if you click radius at the top you can change how your radius works. So like one dot you can change the radius using this yellow slider, the overall radius. Two dots you can change the start and stop of your tube tool and three dots you can change the start and stop at every point so this is how i get that curled tooth shape i have this spline
Let's go ahead and move this over. And like I said, we're just going to do our own thing now. I'm just going to get teeth in there and then we're going to go ahead and we'll kind of manipulate them a little bit, make some smaller, some bigger, um, change the way that the curve tool is lining up with everything. But we're pretty much going to close everything up. We'll make some like not so sharp teeth. We'll make some like more square teeth. the appropriate size I think for how much space to leave on the bottom jaw. Thank you so much. I've been trying to figure it out all week making a game for me and my kids. That is awesome look. Uh, lucky I just made a game too. Um, if you click the link in my bio you can see that but I really hope that it helps you out and um, if you need any more help let me know and if you need help like bouncing some ideas off for the game I would also love to be able to help there. behind this thing all the way to the back of the mask it looks like let me look at another picture yeah it goes like almost all the way back to the back of the mask it's looking great so far way farther than where I could have gotten no worries no worries at all it uh it will be some work but we're gonna make this super special for you gonna get it. I'm excited to do this. It's uh, pushing my skills a little bit, which is a good thing. I love that. So it's making me really have to think about how these things work so that I can do it proper. So it'll be a little bit of trial and error, but like I said, that's, that's genuinely what I enjoy, is learning new things and figuring it out. Very welcome, no problem at all. Let's go ahead and make this thicker like this. This is going to be a square tooth. Eventually. Uh, actually, there's not very many square tooth. We'll just. And just so you're aware too, um, I'm not too sure how to say your name. I think it's Hachi, but... Um, it won't be an exact copy, mostly for copyright purposes. I want to make sure I'm not just straight up stealing the design. If this is somebody's uh, IP, I, I don't want to just uh, get in trouble there. Um, Zachi, okay, very close. But I will make it extremely reminiscent. It will basically be the same thing. Yeah, it'll be it'll be pretty similar. The you'll see it and you'll be like, oh, that's just like this mask. I'll take a little bit of creative liberties, change twenty percent or so. right there. Now we need these on the top portion. So we're going to flip these around like so. Bring this out. Over. Beautiful. Look at 
ده I'm gonna want to see how these teeth are embedded in here too because that's gonna be crucial these all touch back here so that's something for me to keep in mind I can always move this up or this down actually that's a good point should this top jaw come down or should the bottom one come up I think the top one should come down so this top jawline I think this should come down that one guy very good to see you I have been very well been doing some commissions um, building up my patreon which is super nice I've had a few people join so it feels real good and uh, it's been good it's been very good outside of that just been steady consistent at work went to the beach this morning with my kids for a 5k run Uh, nope, I am not sculpting in Blender. This app is called Nomad Sculpt. When this is printed, do we have an idea of how it'll look on someone's face? So, here's another mask that I've printed. I didn't size it the best to the face, but this one, I've learned a few things. So this one I'm doing right now for you is gonna look a lot better. Um, I can't really put it on my face because there is a uh, strap here to hang it on my wall, but I mean like it, it fits pretty well. I don't know if you can see the side profile, but it'll, I think it will do pretty well. I would recommend if this is going to be something that uh, will be worn, you could probably get some like foam padding strips to put inside of the helmet to rest on like the forehead just so you're not propping against hard plastic that would probably be good so like some peel and stick foam padding um, I think that would be good and then I'm gonna put holes in the side of the mask where you can string something through the holes and then put a strap around the back so you'll have to get a strap however you want to do that you could just tie a rag um, you could use rope you could get a proper strap, something like that. Um, heck yeah, that's awesome. I love to hear all of that. Keep up the good work. Thank you so much, that one guy. Looks awesome. I'm starting to learn to make 3D art. Art meditation. That is amazing. Let me know how it goes, and I'm always here to help you. Um, just reach out if you ever need any advice or anything. I would really love to help you get started if that is uh, something I'm able to do. this in a little bit and up like I said just a moment ago <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> um, we want these to touch we, we want all of these to touch I need water terribly bad <clears throat> I just got a dry scratchy throat and I'm about to start crying I need to grab water.
Okay. <clears throat> Let's continue. Um, Zachi, I'm also going to be working on this off of live stream a little bit while I'm at work tomorrow. So I should be able to get some more done. <clears throat> I'll do that on my 10 minute lunch breaks and on my uh, 30 minute break. I like to go outside next to the pond, just 3D model for a little bit, relax. Uh, one other thing I wanted to mention is actually I can maybe put a wash on it, but more or less, I'm probably just gonna print it in a gray. I might, uh, I might prime it for you so you can paint it if you want. So I'll prime it with uh, that, and you can just use any kind of craft paint you have. It doesn't have to be anything special. Um, otherwise, I can maybe put like a black wash on it, just to, uh, just to kind of fill in all the cracks with a dark color and then I'll do like a dry brush white over top. If I have time to paint it like that, I'll do that for you. Otherwise, I'm just gonna have it primed up. This is pretty solid, actually. Um, but we need to kind of tie all of this in. I want to eat away a little bit of this material. It's getting in the way. That way I can see where some of these teeth need to move. So I want to eat some of this away in the mask. Um, it's probably going to destroy the inside of the mask, but that's okay. Let's solo this out. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna eat away. Let's um, let's inflate the inside of the mask. We can fix the inside of the mask later. We can make a new. Um, <clears throat> words escape me. We can make a new uh, shell. A new shell of the mask. There we go. Found it. Not a big deal. Right, we're gonna voxel remesh this and smooth the whole thing out. Um, I believe it looks really good. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Margo. So good to see you. I didn't even think about all the little details and whatnot. I kind of just jumped in all excited. No problem. Um, there, there's a lot of little details, but that's okay. Little details are good. Generally, they can go in quite quick. And uh, I'll just use like a scratch. Um, tool and I can cut into the mask a lot and just add a ton of like scarring and uh, basically like fracturing all over the face mask. I don't have an iPad but I do have a cheap-ish pen display for my PC. Would it be better to learn on that on opposed to a mouse? No problem. Um, so it's not actually Nomad Sculpt is not actually on PC right now, but the developer is actively working on a PC version for Nomad Sculpt. Um, it's in the name. It's it was designed as a mobile app, Nomad. So like, go wherever you want and do it, and don't be tied down to a computer. However, so many people are asking for a PC version that the developer is going to work on it. Um, I would say. As to actually answer your question, I would probably use a pen or like a tablet um, over a mouse. I, I wouldn't use a mouse. That's just my personal preference. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, and you don't need an iPad either. If you have an iOS or Android phone, you could actually start right now. Um, so like if you're on Android, you can do download Nomad Sculpt on your phone for free and just start messing around with it. And if you're on iOS, you have to buy the full version, but it's $15 and it's a one-time payment. You won't have to buy it again. And then if you did upgrade to a tablet, like let's say you have an iPhone, 
um, and you bought it on your iPhone and then later you upgrade to a tablet, you don't have to buy it again because it's the same app. It's on the same app store. You don't have to buy it again. And if you're on Android, I'm not too sure, but it is the same app on Android too, but I don't know how the Play Store works. these teeth a little different now. We need to get these in here. Some of these kind of square up a bit. close to finished on the teeth at least for getting them in the position that I want I think I'm pretty happy with what is happening here I might change a little bit in the future but this is how I like to do it I just kind of bulk everything in to start and just see where it goes and like I said I think for right now I think I'm quite happy with how it goes kind of changing each tooth individually how I'm doing it's gonna make it fit in very nice and it's gonna it's gonna break everything up so it doesn't look so symmetrical all over the place which is important you do you do want symmetry but when it comes to teeth if you're too symmetrical on everything it just looks wrong it just doesn't look good you need a lot of variation in the teeth being symmetrical from one side to the other in a mirror that's okay but like if every tooth is the same tooth um, it, it just doesn't look the best. I think that's good. There might be too many teeth. Feels like too many. 
I don't know. We'll, we'll modify in the future. It definitely feels like too many though. All right, let's take this back a little bit more. Probably we'll cut a hole in that soon. Oh, that's okay. No, no worries, Zachi. I'm generally just chilling anyways. This, this horn, we need to make sure that comes this way. That's good. This one looks like it kind of comes off a little bit and out. So let's bring this down some. How did the tree monster turn out? Uh, elegant, how long ago was that? Did I do a tree monster? Were you talking about this? Turned out good, if this is what you were talking about. The wooden stump? Man, I don't know what you're talking about. I haven't done a tree monster in a long time. Um, wooden stump, uh, where you may be talking about this, the can holder. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> so I still got a. Uh, dry brush it, highlight some color, but it came out good. It fits cans absolutely perfectly. I've got the other one somewhere. I don't know where it went, but yeah, it came out real good. Hey, thank you so much for the follow, Elegant. I appreciate you. Cas casually makes uh, you show your other pieces. <laughs> no worries. But yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Appreciate the kind words. All right, these eyes are a little too narrow. And we need to get that from the top piece here. Oh. I also see that this 
as another little thing here. So let's make these less narrow. Let's kind of open this up right here. Something like that is appropriate. And then there is a piece that comes off of the bottom eye. Comes off of the very, actually there's two things. So there's this that comes off the top right here. Kind of comes out and over like that. Uh, do you print all the sculptures you do? I print most of them. Yeah, I print just about all of them. I don't know if you were here seeing this. I printed this cup I did. It's hard for me to really show you this. I don't have super good lighting right here, but there's that. Um, I've done a lot of little characters, little chibi characters. I'm trying to get them in the light for you. I know it's a little bit hard to see. Lots of things. Let me crease and invert. I want to bring this to a point right here. The edge of the shattered bone kind of goes just above the eye line. So this is perfect. I want to kind of bring that like that. I also want to bring this to a point. We can bring this back. Oh, that's nice. That's perfect. Yeah, we'll make that look shattered. fix the angle of the eyes being open. Actually, they might be okay. They might be okay. I can see underneath the eye, so we have this here. We have our normal thing going on, and it kind of comes back, and this comes off down here. That's not right. So right at the back of the eye, basically right here this comes down. But this is super thin. So I want to inflate this. Because that's going to be very breakable. I want to kind of drag it back into the mask so that it's a lot closer in there. We can angle it this way. Let's smooth this out. Let's inflate it again. Save it how it was. It looked better before I started inflating it. Yeah, it looked better like this. In my opinion. Sachi, so if you're watching, this is one of the things I might leave like this. Because if I leave it a little more narrow and not so true to the picture, it's gonna help 
So like how I have it now, this is gonna help me with 3D printing if I can leave it a little bit closer to the face and not so skinny. I don't want it to be super breakable. Although if some of this breaks, it's not gonna be the biggest deal because it is kind of like a worn mask, but um, you know, it would be better if it didn't, didn't break. But because it's a fractured skull to start, it wouldn't be the end of the world. What's going on, Straw Cat? I'm sorry, I forgot to I forgot to say hey. I think. How are you doing? Yeah, I think I think this would would be good. I'm kind of trying to think in my head too how I'm gonna orient this to 3D print. I don't think there's gonna be a good solution. I'm probably gonna have to throw a ton of supports on the inside of the mask, which is okay. Do you think quad uh, mesh will help to make hard surface models? Um, quad remesher is not going to help you make hard surface models, but it will help you keep the hard surfaces on your already hard surfaced models, if that makes sense. So if you already have hard surfaces that you're using by getting like the trim tool, or you're getting those hard surfaces by using other shapes to cut shapes out of other shapes, the Boolean function, um, then you can quad remesh and keep all of your hard edges. It'll help you move your hard edges if you have this, if you have fewer polygons on them. So in that way, yes. If you want to like just grab one polygon and move it, you, that'll that might make it easier. I am currently using an app called Nomad Sculpt. Uh, the shape will be cleaner, so it will be easier to grab only a select area of polygons and move them all uniformly so that they stay uniform and you keep all your hard shapes. That way you don't get things looking all like off balance and janky. Okay, I want this over the bottom of the jaw. I don't have a good side angle view of this mask, but I'm gonna make some stuff up back here. So, I'm gonna make this up. I think we want this to kind of drag up this way. In fact, I wonder, can I trim this? Let's cut this out over here. There we go. That's cut. And I want to drag this up. It's a very good edit, very good uh, addition to the tool set inside of Nomad Sculpt.
Let's inflate this. Voxel remesh. And let's smooth this out. Voxel remesh. Smooth. There we go. That's what we want. I want this to barely connect right here. In fact, I wanted to kind of... I wanted to kind of have this open right here. And I want this trimmed off. I think I want this kind of trimmed off this way. Smooth this out. I might just, I might just melt this together right here. Sorry, my boss was uh, talking with me and I didn't catch the program's name. No problem, Ghost. The app name is called Nomad Sculpt.
Yeah, I'm gonna close this up. I was trying to make like the connection where your bottom jaw connects over here. I was kind of trying to make that in the skull, um, but we're, uh, we're just gonna seal it up. It's gonna 3D print better and be less breakable. So we're just gonna leave it like that. Let's voxel remesh, smooth this out. Getting close. I think these should angle up a little bit more.
can tell I'm getting tired when I stop speaking. <laughs> Probably gonna go to bed very soon. Zachi, are you still in here? Do you want the ears covered? Or should it go? I think the ears covered is going to be just too much. I'm kind of thinking we leave the ears out and kind of hug them. Yeah, I think we leave it out. I might make some stuff up, Zachi. Um, let me look at this real quick. Yeah, so I think we're adding a lot more mask than there actually is in the real mask. So I think back behind the eye on the side of the head over here, I think I'm gonna make up some stuff. Like I'm gonna make it kind of jagged. I'm just gonna keep adding like spikes. I think I'm gonna make up some stuff over here. When I say make up some stuff, I kind of mean like...
for starters that fitting things. generally work with only one reference like <laughs> with the front view so this is okay I pretty much just make up stuff all the time it's okay Let's see if I can make this. Let's see if I can make this more or less a straight line. It might be a little bit difficult.
Yeah, it didn't work out. I was trying to do something, but it didn't work how I imagined. Let's just go ahead and drag this out. really awesome. Thank you so much, Robbie English. It's very kind of you. Appreciate that. Let's separate these right here. Let's voxel remesh. Let's smooth this out a little. Let's inflate it. And let's smooth this out a little bit more. We're pretty much just going to smooth this. to crease this. I don't want this bend here. There we go. Let's inflate it. I think this is a super good start to this mask and I think with tomorrow between work and then at night I should be able to really dial everything in I kind of like it where it is um, and then just adding in all the cracks and fine-tuning the teeth and stuff I think we can really get it somewhere good it's relatively close I would probably want to look over some stuff and just kind of judge a little bit better if this is true enough to the mask to what I really want um, but I think between tomorrow uh, or throughout the day tomorrow we should be able to finish it up and get it going really good and then I can get it on the printer awesome Zach I'm super happy that you are happy with the direction let me save this and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here I will be back tomorrow whether or not I live stream it tomorrow, I don't know, but I will absolutely work on it. Alright guys, I appreciate you all watching. 